Greetings, unsettled souls! The runner-up for the Dunce Cap of the Month Award winner is here. Now, <laughs> uh, people are going to say that I'm laughing at this one because I don't know what it's like to go through it. Actually, I've gone through it twice. My parents, they're both dead now. They went nowhere but to Walmart and out to eat at, like, Denny's. And they sometimes went in the taxi, but they managed to get bed bugs. It's to the point where my mom actually had to move in with my brother for the last two years of her life in order to get the bugs to die. Uh, I got them so bad as a result of trying to get them out of my parents' house. This was like 2011 that I had to get rid of almost every piece of furniture that I owned. Uh, bed bugs were in everything. Everything. Uh, I tell you one thing I learned uh, to, to never have the problem come up again. I got a water bed instead of a regular bed. I have a California king size water bed that is the size of it, by the way. I just had it sized and had to order a new mattress. Um, California king size water bed. It takes up the entire bedroom. It's massive. And uh, around 20, uh, uh, 17 ish, early 2018. The duplex neighbor where I live managed to get bed bugs from the person who he had been doing the hoo hoo ha ha with. Uh, she lived in a building which was notorious for that. And I got them again. And, and it was no easy process, but I drained the water bed and my bed was saved. It had to be completely dismantled and completely put back together again. But that is one solution. I know that sounds a bit complicated, and if you're looking for a different solution, well, you could try fire. Oh, but if you do, there's a really good chance, a better than average chance, that you are going to end up here without a doubt on the Dunce Cap of the Month Award show. Um, now, I can tell you how this happened, but I'll, I'll do that afterwards. I will make you wait. I can, exp I can explain how this happened. I know I look like I come from a lot of money, but uh, believe me, I've been through some life. I know. Hard to believe, I know. Uh, NewYorkPost.com. Woman sets herself on fire while trying to rid the car of bed bugs. Fire. 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 Not laughing at her. I've almost done it myself. A Michigan woman set herself on fire while frantically trying to incinerate bed bugs that she found inside her car, authorities said. The unidentified 31-year-old woman, which made it very hard for me to give her a dunce cap, and depending on how bad she was burned, I probably wouldn't be that mean. From Pontiac, found the creepy crawlies inside her ride Tuesday and had a panic attack, according to... As soon as we leave our compound, it's clear who is now in charge. Ah. Taliban fighters have flooded the capital. Of course. All right, so uh, now back to what we were doing. The unidentified woman uh, had a panic attack. Panic I like how every time somebody does something stupid, they blame it on a mental health issue. There are people who I love very, very much, but the, I can tell you, they go to counseling not to get better, but to have the counseling counselor somehow reinforce that they're sick so that they never have to do anything that they don't want to do. They never have to live up and fess up to their own mistakes. They can always say, oh, you don't know how bad life is for me, and they can always write it off as to their mental illness. That includes burning up your car. She decided to use rubbing alcohol. That I was what I was going to get to, but fair enough. Rubbing alcohol does kill them. Dead. And I, you know, again, we've all, if you've been through it, you've hosed everything down. My wife, I'm unfortunately separated. Uh, my wife would smoke in bed after, you know, she was like, sneak a cigarette or whatever. I don't really care. You know, I don't want anybody to die. I, I don't want anybody to get lung cancer or something. It's as bad as you can go. But my main concern was at the time that we had bed bugs and, you know, we're going to die in the fiery furnace here unless we're Meshach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, what happened? Up the bed go and fire. I think that's what that means. I but anyway, we didn't. Unfortunately, it looks like this woman did because she used rubber, rubbing alcohol to douse the bugs and to set them ablaze. But accidentally, yeah, because she probably didn't do it on purpose. Good writing. She accidentally set herself on fire. I'm glad we know that it was an accident. 
and in the process set herself on fire as she was taken to the hospital for treatment of second degree burns. That really sucks. That is not funny. That's not what we're laughing at here. Deputies were sent to the scene to assist firefighters who responded to the vehicle fire. Well, you know, I'm going to say this. There is, there's no mandate in most cities for the landlords to do anything about bed bugs. It's up to the tenant. And I'm not, I, I, I think, let me get to what I think in a minute. The idea that the tenant's going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to fix the bed bug problem is simply not going to happen. It's not. Okay. They're going to do what I did, which was try to fix it themselves and end up with a total infestation. Luckily, my landlady said, oh my God, I'm just going to go ahead and fix it because I can't rent the other side of the duplex. So she fixed it. Now... I happen to think that if someone gets a bed bug infestation, it needs to be deducted from their property taxes at the end of the year. They shouldn't have to pay for it. <clears throat> it should simply be a business expense, just like cockroaches. Because what they are doing by allowing the landlords to just say whatever, it's fine, but people are spreading it all over the city, everywhere they go. They're moving, oftentimes on buses, because they don't have a lot of money. And they're spreading it everywhere. And lastly, before I jump off here, <clears throat> bed bugs are not attracted to dirt or filth or clutter. Nobody does anything to bring them upon themselves. This is not like cockroaches. You can live in the Taj Mahal. And you would have a very good likelihood of a massive bed bug infestation if just one person brings them in. And if you don't believe me, here's how I'm going to prove it. In closing, look up bed bug infestation White House. I rest my case. Up next, the dunce cap of the month award winner. That means someone's going to get a dunce cap. A certificate mailed to them with it, and it's the stupidest story of the month. It's next.